Oh god. Oh god, this is it. We're at the end! <sighs> Wrestling guy. <laughs> Final part. The 30th game in Rare Replay. Otakun is going to play Banjo and Kazooie 3 Nuts and Bolts. Here we are. <laughs> Fucking do it. It's the final countdown. Na 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 na. Oh my god. Alright, so tell him. Tell him about this. Tell him. Oh, I don't think that this is the start of a new game. Oh, did you just start a save? I don't know. You can't do it that way. Press the X. You have to wait for them to press start. They're delirious. <sighs> okay. So. Single player. Single player. Start new start game. Start new game. It's fine. You sure? I'm never going to play this. <laughs> like, okay, don't even get any ideas, people. Ah, oh, God. So tell them. So, tell them about nuts and bolts and nuts and bolts and nuts and bolts. It's so pretty, and I want it to be Once good. Upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called but it isn't. It's not. And I know it's not, because it was supposed to be beautiful. And, it, not. and you know the interesting thing? is that Banjo and Kazooie is widely regarded to be one of, if not the best game on the uh, Nintendo 64. Yep. And Banjo and Tui actually comes close to being as good as its predecessor. So then, eight years later, this comes along. and ever, It's made by Rare. Those are the guys who made Banjo and Kazooie and Banjo and Kazooie. Yep. So the theory was, well, this is going to be great. You know, we're going to have a new game made eight years after the fact. And no, it's a steaming pile of fuck. It's so fucking sucking fucks. Yep. And you know why it's bad? Because it's a fucking build-your-own-car racing simulator. The start of the game has to do with fucking Banjo being too fat. Oh, jeez. Oh, look, it's a Congress Bad Fur Day song. You don't know how bad this game is? How is it? How bad is it? How bad is it? It's so bad that people crowdfunded oh. friggin' ukulele. ukulele because they want a real sequel to Banjo and Kazooie. And they wouldn't get it from this. And if you want to know what ukulele is, look it up. It actually looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It does. I'm probably going to get myself a copy of it for the Xbox One. And when you do, we'll play. Rare has had a long time to figure out what works for them as a company. And um, the creative people that they took on definitely developed its style. Um, they made a horrible mistake by letting those creative people go. because it re And it shows that they really don't understand what they have. Because anybody who, who knows what made Banjo-Kazooie and Conker's Bad Fur Day, those exploration-style games excellent, would never create a game like Nuts and Bolts and then go into long detail about why that their old games are no good and what they think that we want these days. The people who would buy Nuts and Bolts didn't buy Nuts and Bolts because they love shooting games or racing games. They bought Nuts and Bolts because it was a goddamn Banjo-Kazooie game. And After it, eight years. It wasn't. So then guess what happened? Nobody bought Nuts and Bolts. And they lost a lot of money. And they lost all that money. They could have made all that money. It's crazy. Rest in peace, small associate. Died here in 2000, but managed to rise from the dead about a week later. So that's going to happen inside the other game. He comes back to life, so I don't know why they built a grave for him. It's not like he stayed dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would I When they first announced that they were bringing Banjo and Kazooie back, I was ecstatic. I was so excited for that. And 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 then they did this and I was like, I don't even I don't want to play. I don't, really, I don't want to ever do it. I thought to myself, you know, maybe one day but I'm playing it right now, and I just felt insulted. 
you know, as a, fr- a fan of the original game, they're like, no, nobody wants this. I'm like, I do, I do want this. Please give me this. Is there a button to opt out of listening <laughs> to this person? No, I don't want it to be paused. I actually want to play the game. No. Nope. Instead of Pong game appears? Yeah. Greetings, O second rate game characters. It says a third rate game character. Yeah. Who are you? My title is a lot of games, but as you can call me, L-O-G. Log! Ah, like ghoulies, which I liked. Yeah. You look a bit queer, wow. It's from a different age. It's from 2008! <laughs> you from... have to understand, she's from a different time. <laughs> it's not my joke, I stole that joke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, a view of pinata character, and they're both view of pinata characters now because you know they made that meta. Game. Yep. Uh, Not really. Do I have to? Do I have to take part in this game? Yeah. Now then, your challenges consist of collecting things. Making pointless objects as possible. No, that's not what the game was about. Well, I mean, to be fair, that was a part of it, but it was more, that was a fun side quest. It wasn't... You collected the things because you needed to collect the things in order to progress. And why would you call it pointless side questing? Side questing was what made this This is game too work. painful to watch. Gamers today don't want this at all. They just think, all they just want they just is want to, to shoot, shoot at things. things. But we're broadening, broadening our demographic. I to think of something original. Oh my god. Oh my god. So here's the point, and you just you just blew past it in the opposite direction. You just you just turned around and ran away. We've been in several games already, but nowhere near as many as the Italian gentleman. Mario? Yes, and <laughs> Mario did do some other things with it, but it wasn't the entire point of the game, and he didn't just make fun of the fact that he was inside games like that. In fact, he keep returning to his same thing. Actually, an argument could be made that that what Mario RPG, especially Paper Mario RPGs, did meta things, but they actually did them correctly. Saying, man, why do we rescue Princess Peach so much? And then the answer comes later, because he loves her. Look, they're young! They're young and hip. Can we have a better game, please? One of my moves in the previous game. You won't be needing those. They're rather outdated anyway. No, they're not! <laughs> they're the reason people want to play this stupid fun. game! Bird was bad in our last game. Now she seems extra lame. Yeah, that'll make it fun. You know what? the race and then we're done. Okay. Well, I can't speak for you, but I'm done. I'm pretty done. Get it? He doesn't know how to do He can't drive a car! He's a bear! Yes! It's almost <laughs> like that's a bad idea. Can you imagine if they made a Battletoads game oh, where it was like this? <laughs> just... No, they wouldn't do that because you would think that Battletoads should be in like a different kind of game. You think, right? <laughs> this reminds me of Kazam. Anything that reminds me of Kazam needs to die. Who are these things? They're pigs. They weren't in the other games. Why are they wearing skirts? Oh, who cares? I do. So is this like an alternate dimension or something? Looks like it. Uh, oh my gosh, we gotta, we gotta say something. I, no... can't, I can't, I <laughs> My soul hurts. 
Okay. So I, to be clear. So let me let me just yeah, please. <laughs> to be clear, they gave you a magical wrench for which to build your cars to race because the ca the character that's brought us here thinks we're stupid irrelevant characters that nobody remembers. What the fuck is that? All right, um, okay. <laughs> Few things. Kazooie is 100% correct. Where is her stuff, and why can't she do it? And just because you think this is bad? No, fuck you. <laughs> I'm wondering if the whole process was they were like, if we keep mentioning how stupid their old crap was, that'll make the new crap look fun. No, that's not how this stuff works. But I'm like, it's a sequel. Look, I'm not saying that sequels have to be exactly like the games that came before them. Mario 3 is much different than Mario 2. But why would you insult your past? It's not even like you can make the argument that Banjo and Kazooie and Banjo 2 were bad games. They weren't. No, they were fantastic games. The whole point of this stupid argument that that stupid thing is making is that, oh, they're stupid games and no one played them. I'm like, Rare wouldn't exist if Banjo and Kazooie didn't do well. I can't. And Mumbo's here now. <laughs> Mumbo looks really cool, and I want him to be doing other cool magic stuff. Can I... <laughs> Are we done here? I can't. I can't. We're can't. done here? Okay. I can't. This is just... So! This is, this is just bad. Wait a minute! So, this game is bad, in my opinion. But, Otakun, now, after 30 games, what do you think of Rare and their long history of video game making? Eh, we were wrong. They did some really fun stuff. Like, Grab by the Ghoulies was actually pretty fun. I'm gonna say this, look, despite what you might think about that game, which sucks, Banjo-Kazooie is a great game. Yeah, Blast Corpse is a great game. Yes. That was a, a big gem that I didn't know that I would find playing this. Grab by the Ghoulies is a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that, too. Um, Battletoads is great. Hard as hell. Hard fun. as hell. Good, good time. Uh, Killer, Instinct Killer Instinct is fun. Yeah, first time I played that. A lot of fun. Uh, Viva Pinata, if I gave it a better shake and it wasn't 6 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I might enjoy. Uh, and, like, and again, you know, for all the crap I give their earlier stuff, it was actually kind of... Some of those were quite groundbreaking for their time. Yep. You know, Cobra Triangle was fun, and uh, uh, Snake Battle Roll was, like, really ridiculously hard. We had a ridiculous time with Jet Force Gemini. Yeah. That was... I could not get that to work for me. Haven't helped me. But, uh... Again, Rare has made some great games. Yep. And, and we've had a lot of fun playing it here. It just wish it didn't... We could go out with a bang rather than a whimper. Yeah, really. It really <laughs> does feel that way. So. And, I mean, as I suggested way back in the first episode of this, um, there are Rare games that aren't on here that I would like to play if we could figure it out, so... Like Donkey Kong like Country? Like Donkey Kong Country, GoldenEye, yeah. and there's more. There's others out there. So, maybe we'll give those a shot. And uh, also remember, guys, that there is uh, other great games uh, that we would love to play on here. But uh, before we get to that, did you have anything you wanted to add? I wanted to add that Rare, in my opinion, uh, now that I know more about their history and the companies they've made, they've made actually a, their fair share of classics and deserve to stand up with some of the better third-party and first-party developers of games from all the way back in the NES era to even now. I would put them maybe not as high as, say, Capcom, who in my is my favorite third-party developer, but they're right up there with Konami and they're right up there with uh, Activision and, and uh, 2K. Uh, who made Bioshock and things yep. like that. Like, I mean, they're great. It's just <laughs> that their last shot wasn't so great. Wasn't so great. And when I was a kid, back when back when I would consider the golden age of Rare, they were 
the top third-party developer for Nintendo. And I was sad to see them decline so hard. Yeah, so. yeah. But, anywho, thanks for joining us, guys. Yes. And if you have a suggestion of what you'd like to see us play, we have a bunch of games, so uh, any game, let us know. Any game you can think of for the... Um, Xbox One. Xbox One or Xbox 360. Hit us with it, and we'll see what we can do. Also, post in the comments if you know how to stream uh, Twitch from uh, other Wii Nintendo U. systems. Yes, and stuff Wii like U, that. Wii. Uh, I don't own a PS4, so yeah, that's out. Help us out. And we can <laughs> we can keep this going. I love I love the Wii second this. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like oh, and uh, we're we're planning on uh, doing our finding, figuring it out, and doing our stream of the NES Classic. Yep. So look out for that. Some fun games in there for sure. Yep. And uh, thank you so much for joining. Like, if you, by the time this goes up, if you watched all 16 episodes, you are a trooper, <laughs> and you deserve all the credit in the world. Me, thank you so much. Yep. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. So until next time, wrestling guy and Otakun saying, see you next time. Take care, guys. God, we did suck at the two of these ones. <laughs> it's time for bed. Time for sleeping. It is so I'm so tired. By the it way, is oh, next to you. Six goddamn a.m. Grab it. Ooh, I can't wait to sleep. <laughs> what a story, Mark.